Hey guys, now today I'm at the Flamingo in Las Vegas in their Go Mini Suite. All right, let's check it out. So this is the door you come in from and you're automatically greeted with a uh, about a 300 beats per minute rhythm. You can't even dance to this, like no one's that fit. All right, so um, here we go. Now there's a lot of frosted glass in this one. That's really strange. Now, we're gonna go in, greeted by a mirror, subscribe. All right, then you're gonna see this here, living room area, All right? We're gonna start on this end. Over here's like a workstation for you. It got a lamp, an outlet over there. We got my stuff. What looks like a subwoofer, a fridge. That's really nice and clean, guys. Very nice. An audio system. I haven't tested it out yet. And over here is a about maybe a 40 inch television. Now over here we got coffee service and a lamp as well as your ice thing. Now over here, this is a uh, powered window thing, which what you do, you got these big click switches, right? So bam. Right, not bad, right? Of course, they have both a sheer and drape. All right, now moving along, we have here a couch for three sections over here. All right, a little, I mean, like, it's not little, it's a pretty big coffee table. As a matter of fact, it's unnecessarily big. This is about like four, four and a half feet wide, guys. One chair. And over here, we got like an alcove situation, right? You got the one king bed over here, a couple of side tables. This here, uh, like a double-ended psychiatry couch, right? It's like a couch. It's either a double-ended psychiatry couch or a regular couch with no back. What would you rather call it? I don't know, guys. Now, over here, we got this here ceiling fan. Now, pay attention. It's, you'll notice that it's a little wobbly, which is going to make me kind of nervous because it's placed right by the bed, you know? So God forbid, you know, you're sleeping and then this thing finally breaks off and chops off your, you know, I mean like, if you, I mean, yeah. So next to the bed, we have a television, a very small one, maybe 30 inch, 25 inch, something like that. And of course, like this one, these uh, rooms that were nice 20 years ago, right? It's like 20 years ago, they'll be like, oh, wow, you got power switch, you know, you got all that. Or maybe even 40 years ago, like maybe in 1980, this will be like top notch stuff, right? And, and, and I say this because <clears throat> if you look here, like who uses this nowadays? An in, uh, a network cable in, in, a, in a thing. You know, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna wonder about it. I may test it out, I'm not sure. You know, traditional phone. All right, so, gotta make sure that I'm gonna turn that off at night before I sleep. I do not want, you know, life would not be worth living. You know what, I have asked this, you know, like, when I go to work sometimes I get bored, so I ask a really silly question. I'd be like, hey, would you rather be killed or have it, right? You know, you know, you know, us guys are talking, right? And he'll be nine times out of ten, they're gonna be like, "I would rather die, man. I would rather die. There's no point in living." You know what I mean? All right. So moving along, we got this here, um, bathroom, thermostat. Now the bathroom again, the sliding frosted glass thing. I hate frosted glass. It looks creepy, guys. Like, like, look at this. This is the closet. Doesn't it look like there's someone standing in there? 
It's like you you take a look look at this. You see an outline. You know that's like some creepy stuff. But then you're gonna have I'm gonna have to leave this open. You know that's that's gonna creep me out every time I come in. I'm gonna be like oh my god there's someone in there. Yeah, I'm gonna leave this sucker open. And we got a very spacious closet, guys. The thing to put your luggage. You got this here safe. White hangers, guys. White hangers. Well, not white anymore. It is actually uh, kind of yellowing with age. Some got cracks in it. But, hey, you know, hey, it's the flamingo. Right? And you got iron. Wow, this cord has been around for a while, guys. You can see all the dirt on it. All right, now, the bathroom, guys, bathroom. Here we have the bathroom. Pretty spacious. Separate tub, separate shower. All right, we got a toilet bowl where, you know, some lady was here with the romantic candles, probably like had one here and they burned it, I'm guessing. All right, some towels, ventilation, a, uh, a sink that is like a bowl. Oh, toilet paper. I'm gonna put this over here. All right, toiletries, hair dryer, etc., etc. Now, you're wondering, we're, we're on like a, a high floor over here, like above 20. So let's see if the water pressure is any good. Now, how do you work this thing? Hmm, maybe like this? Oh, oh, what the heck? They're like sprouting up. Hey, 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 hey. Food and travel, guys. Food and travel. Stop that right now. All right, what was I going to say? All right, here we go. Um, I, I don't... I have to figure this one out. Maybe do this. Whoa! I see. This is a sideways spray. And this is the top spray. Water pressure is pretty good, guys. Everything is getting soaked. Whoa. All right. Excellent, excellent. Let's see the tub water pressure. It's pretty good. So I'm guessing that this thing here, like you set the the ratio of hot and cold and it stays unless you move this thing like hotter or colder you know, I'm gonna make it all the way hot <laughs> alright, so what else are we gonna talk about? well that's it guys the Go Mini Suite okay now, I'm gonna talk about the prices guys the prices alright, so the prices of Las Vegas hotel rooms, right? Now, I cannot tell you the price of this Flamingo Go Mini Suite because it's comped for me. I have no idea what the price is. Alright, and uh, I'm not paying a resort fee either because I'm a degenerate gambler. Anyway, so um, yeah, if you want to know the prices that you will have to pay, check out the link in the description below. Right? That will lead you to the Caesars website. You choose the flamingo. You choose like the date you want to, uh, you know, check in and check out. Then you select the type of room, and the prices will be listed for you over there, right? Because it's always changing, right? Uh, what level of player you are, uh, what day of the week it is, you know, whether or not it's busy in Vegas, convention, no convention, trade shows, things like that. It's always changing, guys. So when people come and say, "Hey, how much was the room?" I honestly cannot tell you. You know, what can you do? So, um, so basically, the more you gamble, the less you pay, right? Now, if you do not gamble at all, then when you go on to the website, then that is the price for the regular people, like first-timers in Vegas and things like that who never, don't have a gambling history. Then that's how much you'll pay, right? If you are a gambler and you have a, an account, log in, and then that will be your price. All right. So thank you for watching my Flamingo Go Mini Suite video. I hope you guys have a nice day. Cheers.